So this is just like one of the best opportunities for me to get video of all the fish in this tank because this is one thing they're all willing to come out for. So that was a quick shot of blood worms. Look at this guy right here. Last time you saw this fish, he was not this big. That is my pink male convict. This guy has a nuku hump. But yeah, um, that's how you get these fish out. And I want to give you guys a quick update on this tank, but let me finish um, offering them different types of food. So that was blood worms. Right here we have some Hikari. They're still distracted by the blood worms, but they're going to get to there. But yeah, I want to give you guys an update on this tank. So first off, as you can see, the Bala Sharks are doing awesome. These guys are growing, and I'm actually surprised they're so bold. Now before, when I kept Bala Sharks, I knew that they were extremely timid, extremely shy. Maybe it's because I have a school of five. Look at them getting violent with each other. But yeah, maybe because I have a school of five, they're doing awesome. But the biggest one is about eight going on nine inches, and these guys are just awesome. Always begging for food, and I'm definitely the life of the tank besides them we have the silver dollars these guys are old i had these guys for years and they're still kicking it they would prefer a larger school but for now that's all i have two striped and two spotted um all the other fish that are not sickly we have the polypterus senegalis doing awesome he loves his blood worms we have who else is not a cichlid we have some catfish in here somewhere um these blood worms sure cause some serious fights. Yeah, we have a Raphael catfish in here somewhere. We have some Brisnos plecos, and then when it comes to the cichlids. So with cichlids, I'm gonna go in order of the hierarchy. Most dominant fish of the tank is my male Jack Dempsey guy. This fish shows amazing colors, but right now, for some reason, he's kind of timid, but look at him. Gorgeous fish. He's the dominant fish, even though he's not the biggest fish, he's the dominant. And he does um, a decent job, not too aggressive. Maybe he's not aggressive enough because there is a lot of side, side fights, like fish fighting, especially this guy. And normally the dominant fish is supposed to break up those fights, so maybe he's not aggressive enough. But I'm definitely not going to complain. He's a good 8 inches. Um, after that, in the hierarchy, we have his female. Um, she stays close by his side. Even though they're not a, officially a mated pair, she still stays by his side. And... Um, I think he, she's also the reason why he's the most dominant because she comes and helps him whenever he needs a fight. So she's the second ranking fish in this aquarium. Then after that, this guy. Surprisingly, this guy is the third ranking fish and he's definitely trying to move up, always fighting Geophagus Brazilians. I love his color. Probably one of my favorite out of all the fish in here because of his color. This guy is about six, six and a half inches. Brilliant color, but loves to fight. Third ranking fish in a tank. He fights with everybody. I even saw him fighting the um, Brisnos Pleco. He fights everybody. Then, here's a better look at the Polypterus. Um, the fourth ranking cichlid is my male Jaguar. Surprised he is the fourth ranking cichlid. Look at the look at him going at it. That's him and the female um, Jack Dempsey. But yeah, I'm surprised that the Jaguar is only the fourth ranking cichlid and that's because um, this guy beat him up. But the Jaguar is the biggest fish in the tank at about eight going on nine inches. The biggest fish has teeth and yet this guy is more dominant. I think it's because this guy is tactical. He doesn't just fight on equal terms. He fights like next to Jack, Jack Dempsey's and the Jack Dempsey's help him. Next in line we have this here mine cichlid. Look at the colors on this fish. Definitely an underrated fish. Everybody always call this the false feste. Yeah because they um, mislabel it but definitely a fish not bad to keep. Definitely has some awesome color, but this is the fifth ranking fish in the hierarchy. After that, it might actually be my um, African leaf fish, which is not a cichlid, but he um, likes to play in the hierarchy, he likes to bully fish around. He's the sixth ranking fish in here. He was, he likes to work the shadows, so we're probably not going to get him on camera. Right here is my female Cuban cichlid. She probably is the um, seventh because of her size she's not really that aggressive since she's been in this tank she definitely lost a lot of aggression compared to when she was downstairs and then we have the convicts surprisingly the convicts did very well in this aquarium especially my pink convict the last time you saw him 
he looked nothing like how he looks today. I told you guys I'm gonna put him up here. Last time I took him from a tank where he had a bunch of babies, so I took him out. It was a sad scene, but I knew bringing him up up here would be very beneficial because in this community it would cause him to grow. And that definitely is what happened. Look at the male. He almost has a nuke hump. This guy is about four inches, and even though he's kind of low by himself on hierarchy, he's paired up with one of the females, the biggest female, and um, they're teaming up. They was even cleaning out a nest. It was a good thing they didn't breed because if they would have bred, they would have no doubt um, been able to conquer a section of the tank. But yeah, that guy grew really big, and he's a decent size. He's the, what is the eighth most dominant fish? His female would wiggle her way into ninth, even though she's like a tiny little fish. Where is she? This is the smallest female, but his female, I'm not sure where she's at, but she's about that same size. And then we have this guy, that comic, was the one that was originally up here. You guys didn't really see too much camera action from him. This was the one that was downstairs fighting my finger uh, and fighting the red devil. You can see he's starting to get a nuke hump as well after being in his tank for a couple of weeks. So that's just the power of this social environment. And then you have the females, that's the African leaf fish back there in the shadows. But yeah everyone, that's um, the occupants of this aquarium. Yeah, the tank is overstocked as of now, but pretty soon these guys will be entering into a new home. Most of these fish, if not all of them, will be going into the 350 once it's clear, and then I've, I have a new plan for this aquarium, dramatically different, but hopefully awesome. But yeah, I wanted to give you guys a look at this tank because, oh, I forgot one fish. Um, where is he? My black belt cichlid. Once again, that's a nice look at the leaf fish. But my black belt, I have a juvenile black belt that's about the same size as the convicts. Um, and then I also have my female jaguar dovi. Both of them hide very well. The female is probably in this wood. But the male, I mean, the, um, where is he? The um, black belt. Can't find him now, but I'm pretty sure you saw him when they were doing a little feeding frenzy. But he's in there. Oh, he's right in there. Look at him. He's a decent size. He's he's actually bigger than the convicts. This is him. You're a color. But yeah, everyone, um, don't get to show you guys this tank often because during the day this tank has a lot of glare. I'm recording this video like at 9 o'clock and normally this tank light is off at 8. But yeah, everyone, just a quick look at these guys feeding. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you all on the next one.